Welcome back to the Graham Stephan Show. My name is Graham and welcome to my show. And I have no idea how I somehow missed this gem of a video after all of these years. But you know what they say, better late than ever. And today we're going to be watching this video titled, What is Spending a Week as a 22-Year-Old Living in New York City? Wait for it, Lena to bear. But with that said, guys, let's go ahead and destroy the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Let's go and see what she spent money on two years ago so I could criticize her. Enjoy. Hi, hello, how's it going? It's Elena, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about what I spend in a week as a 22 year old living in New York City, working as like a freelancer in social media and content creation, marketing, media consulting, all that good stuff. Why did this trend fall out of style? I don't get it. Now, listen, I get the trends come and go very quickly, like, you know, here today, gone tomorrow. This is a trend that honestly should have gone longer than like a month because basically everyone made the same video in a month and then after that, People stop making them. Let's bring that back. What I spend in a week. We need that back on YouTube because these were such good videos. As I was kind of preparing for this video, I thought it was really fascinating how the value of money and the way I see money has transformed so much over my life and in the past year that I've had a really frugal mindset when it comes to money throughout the years. When I was in college, I was working like a minimum wage job while being a student to try to like pay for my groceries and pay for my rent. And just like the thought of like getting a $4 latte would literally make me sweat. I'm like, I can't afford this. Like, Ooh, that's good. And you know what? That's a great time for me to plug bankrollcoffee.com. This is the most cost-effective coffee online, shipped right to your door. You may as well do it at bankrollcoffee.com. Or like going with a friend to like a vintage store and they got like a $30 shirt and my mind was blown. I'm like, you have an extra $30 to spend on a shirt right now? I was just like so cash strapped. Yeah, that's what living in New York City is like. It's like everything is doubled in price and you gotta constantly think about, ooh, do I need a $30 vintage shirt? No, but but don't I need a $5 latte? No. But meanwhile, slices of pizza, they're like $1.50 that are like the size of a dinner plate. Go figure. So jumping into my spending, I figured it was worth noting that I have several monthly fees. I pay for my rent, I pay for my gas and electric, I pay for my phone bill, I pay for my health insurance, and I invest in my Roth IRA for retirement. Wow, there we go. See, she's doing great so far. Rent, gas, phone, health insurance, retirement, co-working space. My guess, this has got to be like $2,200 a month. I'm, I'm going to say maybe $25 on the high end. Let's see. I have some subscriptions, so that would be Spotify, Adobe Creative Cloud, Dropbox, Scribd, New York Times, and Calm, which is a meditation app. You know, I gotta say, listen, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna drop a bomb here. I signed up for the Wall Street Journal. Believe it or not, yep, I pay for that subscription, and I have to say, I like it. I'm just throwing it out there. I'm not a big subscription person, but that, I'm happy with it. So I left here in the morning, made my breakfast here using the groceries I bought, Went to the wing, spent $7.50 on a meal there. Side note about the wing, I forgot to mention this. You can't bring an outside food to the wing, which is kind of weird. That sucks. You know, here's the thing. I would sneak in food. You bring in a backpack or like a purse or just a big jacket. You stuff food in there and then you go to the bathroom and you just eat the food in the bathroom. Problem solved. No one's going to go in there on the door like, hey, I smell a roast beef sandwich in there. Nobody would be doing that. See? You gotta think outside the box. So I walked all the way there because it was beautiful this morning, but then by the time it was dark and I was leaving, it was really cold, so I decided to subway home. And so I spent one flight and then again, I made dinner at home. So pretty inexpensive average day. Also, I promise I'll do a better job of blogging and show you guys tomorrow, so stay tuned, okay? Yeah, see, that's really not that bad. She spent about 10 bucks. That's the thing. When you're working so much, you don't have any time to spend money. That's the best way to save, is just work nonstop. Be so busy that the idea of spending money, you're like, I don't even have the time. There you go. Hello, I'm all ready for the day. Now I'm headed to take the subway to my co-working space. Yeah, let's go. Ooh, look at that. Look at all those desserts. See, that looks like those are included. I don't see a price tag. Anytime I don't see a price, it's either because I can't afford it or it's because it's free. And usually it's because it's free. Oh, look at that avocado toast. Jeez, you know, here's the thing. 
The restaurants charge you so much for it. I don't know why. I don't know why they'll be like $15 for a piece of bread with, you know, avocado on top of it. But you could make this stuff at home probably like $1.50. The avocados are usually, you get them like 90 cents to $1.20. That'll make you a few toasts. And you can make exactly this uh, for not that much money. It looks like she put some uh, paprika on top. It's good. I had a work event where I was checking out the skincare company. It was like a really strange part of New York where there was no nearby public transportation. There was only buses, but the buses were running behind. To get there, it would have taken like twice as long to subway and I was running late. So I paid for an Uber, which I just always feel guilty when I Uber places. Uber, I believe it was 650, so not terrible. The only other- 650 is not bad for an Uber. Jeez, I would think that like, they would just charge you 650 just to pick you up. 650 is a deal. Is up. Today has been a very full day, but haven't spent any money until now. I ended up having to shoot multiple videos. I did a little in-person collaboration basically with a company here, but it was at my apartment, which was, you know, kind of unique. And then I just ate all my meals at home. So today I've only spent money on coffee that my assistant brought me. Wow, that's fancy having an assistant bring you a $5.50 coffee. But at least she's doing everything else right be besides that. And then just right now, I bought tickets to a concert of an artist that I really, really enjoy. So for me and the way I value money, an experience like that is definitely worth spending my money on. Yeah, that's not bad. Honestly, for tickets like that, you could go way worse. You could do worse things. Well, I, you know what? I guess there's always something worse. You could go and buy an $8 coffee and be like, well, I didn't buy two of them. But you know what? For her, the experience is worth it. What is up? It's Thursday. So yesterday night, I got dinner with Fletcher and we usually split all of our dinners when we go out together. He's not gonna be here for my birthday. Um, so he has a work trip and then I have a work trip. So he treated me to dinner, which was really sweet of him. So I didn't spend any money on that. Just the train ticket there and back. Bad, see that's the ultimate life hack is just have somebody else pay for you. I love that, that's my favorite. And then this morning I realized I needed a few things for my trip, including a hard drive, which is really expensive, and a little neck rest, because I have a 15 hour flight. Also, this morning I took a workout class, forgot to film it, and I took it through ClassPass. ClassPass gives you an affiliate link, and so I've shared the affiliate link before, so I have some credit saved up, so I don't have to pay for those classes, where it's like- Yeah, you know what, that's smart. I, I did this a while ago, believe it or not, for DoorDash, and I think it was like, if someone else signs up, they get $10, I get $10. I only have like one person sign up. So to that one person, thank you so much for doing that. But then I realized it's like, wait a second. If I'm talking about being frugal and doing all these things to save money, my audience is not gonna sign up for DoorDash. They know better. So like, I don't know whether I should be upset or really happy about that. Go, let's go take the day by storm. YouTube is gonna be like, no, Dan, that's a copyright strike. Someone's gonna claim the videogram. So we can't play this. So instead, I'm gonna have some non copyright music for you all. Oh man, this that would not be okay with uh, the illness these days. That would be a no no. Last night was super fun. I went to a show with Polina. I took the subway there, which was two seventy five, and then once there, I spent four dollars on a coat check because I had my laptop on me because I'd been working in the city all day, and then I spent ten dollars and I got a drink. Cheap. I gotta say, ten bucks for a drink. I'm used to LA prices where that would be like $16 plus tax and tip and they were like $22, it's, it's crazy. That's why you just don't drink or just drink coffee. Now I'm walking around, I'm headed to the West Village, Greenwich uh, Village area for brunch. Um, we're meeting up with some other friends that weren't able to come last night. And then I'm gonna be actually spending most of the day at home packing so we have for Korea tomorrow. Yeah, let's go get some food, I'm hungry. $24, wow, that's pricey, but you know what, for a birthday, not bad, not, that does look good. I'm actually, I'm starving. It's 4.30 and I have not eaten more than a Cliff Bar today, which explains the headache, but you know what? <laughs> I'm just gonna drink more coffee, I'm saving money because I'm working so much. Now it is time to calculate the final cost. Let's see how we did. Ugh. Okay, recording. To my calculations, the final number is 
$281.72. What? It's $281 in a week. I'm curious though how rent and everything else stacks up, like health insurance. That's got to be a lot more money. So I'm guessing with everything all in, she's got to be spending like $26 to $2,900 a month. Maybe at the very most because she lives with roommates. Everything else should be pretty inexpensive. That I got to say is impressive. It's, it's, it's quite good actually. I don't really have it. I don't have a complaint. I wish I could sit there and criticize it, but you know what? I can't criticize her from two years ago. It's good, but let's continue. So overall, that was a really interesting experiment. I'm really glad I did it. I do keep a pretty close track on my expenses. I've gotten a lot more into finances in the last year or two. I use Mint, which helps you basically organize all your expenses. And so I use that, but then I- Oh yeah, Mint.com is fantastic, by the way. I would love one day if they were to sponsor a video. Mint.com, but nah, they're, you know what? They're too big and I just give them free promotion anyway. So I like Mint. And thanks so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Until next time, bye. So overall, I gotta say, great video. The only things I would wanna see in this is uh, how much she's saving every week, what her rent is, what her utilities are, what health insurance, I, I want the whole picture. And that way we could get a really good idea of like how much money she's saving from all of this. Overall though, the spending is fantastic, no real complaints, and honestly, we gotta bring this trend back. More people need to do what I spend in a week as a blank in blank. That way I could uh, react to more videos exactly like this. So with that said, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. As always, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button, hit the notification bell. Feel free to add me on Instagram. I post it pretty much daily, so if you want to be a part of it there, feel free to add me there as the podcast, The Ice Coffee Hour. New episodes being posted every single Sunday, so make sure to be a part of that. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time.